the Session of Jazz Omnia here at the National Jazz Museum in Harlem. Um, I want to just first off start by introducing this awesome band that you just heard from, you're going to continue to hear from for the rest of the evening. So to my right, <laughs> we have Andre Kazlis on piano. Kokunaga on the bass. And then on drums, we have Alex Durant. And then on guitar, we have Kennedy Simpson. Gibson Simpson, I'm sorry. So again, just thank you for joining us tonight. We are enjoying uh, the music of Lovey Austin and John Coltrane. So our first spoken word uh, artist tonight is Smooth Baby, who is going to perform his work atop the uh, music of John Coltrane. I want to let you know that Smooth Baby is a amazing poet that I've had the, the blessing to know for the past few years. He was born and raised in the Bronx, and he currently has a chapbook out now called Ghetto Gospel, which is available anywhere. I mean, he might he'll explain that more, but we'll also share the social media so you guys can follow him. So let's welcome Smooth Baby to the stage. <laughs> I say, yo, <laughs> how we doing tonight? My name is Smooth Baby. I like to call my poetry ghetto gospel. So normally I will only have two rules, which is rule number one, anything that I say in life, y'all can snap, clap, and tell me to bring it back. Rule number two is more like a question for you. Can I get ghetto with you? And I say it again, can I get ghetto with you? first piece, so accept these blessings from these lessons. Everything I spit is with aggression. I say, yo. Dead lost keys. Make a nigga feel incomplete. My whole life is on a couple of rings. My phone don't ring you. Really out of range. They say you can be replaced. But that feeling ain't the same. See, we build chemistry. You make sure I get home safe, even in my drunk rage. Put the key in the lock to unlock the safe. Put the key thing safe, I lock it back up in the safe. See, you worry me. You roaming around this city with no security. Metal across the grain, similar body frame, but your headspace is new to me. See, you was my galaxy. My shooting star that flew right by me, but this Mercury ain't healthy for me. You was my third rock from the sun. You shine a light on me. That's why I try to stroke your keys like Stevie Wonder when he couldn't see the potency in my pen. When I write this four-page letter, covering that left eye like the boy at the end of the road on and bended me. God came down to hug me. He kissed me. Say Cupid right behind me. The double eye me. Now why me, baby? It's easy. See, use the teeth. I'm mad that I lost this masterpiece. Can no artist help recreate this identity? Don't try to box me, smile when you want to address me. Or I leave you hanging, dry on the side of the pants like a quickie. Quickly, things can unlock, unlock in different characteristics to come out of me. Split me like mental instability, the ability to write in my body. CC when you want to forward it to me, copy? See, I talk beyond the surface, I talk deep, six feet. I worship the ground above me. I watch you open up seas like circle in the middle of me. Moses compared the Red Sea. I only see red when it triggers my anxiety. I'm mad. I lost the beats to the keys. Why you think I wear my emotions on my sleeve? Like a long sleeve. So when I aim for they turtleneck, they duck the high for me. This shell don't call the body. Someone come help me find my lost keys. Because this feeling ain't right for me. Baby, it's easy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To all the black mothers, I'm sorry. They keep killing us, your sons. They don't see our life as worthy. I know we all kings, so I came here with a message. 
Fuck the dream, I'm no longer coming in peace. Cause my inner peace is not at peace. They keep taking a nine to give us four, five until we reach. I'm no longer lying in the streets, throwing up blood because they intimidated by my hoodie. We don't hear the word freeze. They just shoot free, busting our home while we eating ice cream, get 10 years, knock down to five. Why the judge hugs me, don't hear me, no Bible. Jesus, I got no more sacrifice in me. And I don't want none of my people to wear a casualty of my casualty. We all know that's not a casualty. But I guess this is just the life of the streets. Mama, I'm sorry. I got tired of watching you struggle for our next feast. When I have two feet, ten toes down. So I start selling crack. Killing other people, family trees. You can see the apple never fell too far. I got dad's DNA embedded in me. At least I know I'm asleep. That's behind that still. For six feet, mama, you can pray for me. Just don't have to pass the line, the altar about me. You raised me to be good. But I decided to live evil. I know it's backwards, how it flipped on me. My eyes couldn't see past my four blocks. They put a box on me. We all not equal. We just trying to survive the jungle of our concrete. I look in my neighborhood and I see nothing but zombies. That means the work reach, but they scared of the outreach. So I reach to get out. <laughs> Life sweet. That's just the imagery of us be when they on their feet. Who said they could patrol my hood when they can't even walk in my feet? This. Ain't no movie they see on their TV. This nigga suffer from PTSD, and the only time I feel safe is if I got something to spell out a P.O.P., the closest thing to raising me. Hand me a letter, let it hang on me as I read through the body, the ironies, the bullets went in and out of me. Which leads me to wonder, did the hood come out of me, or is the hood bleeding out of me? Whatever happened to humanity, baby, is easy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Is this a safe place? <laughs> I said, is this a safe place? Cause I need a place to cry. I'm tired of reliving all these first 48 scenes, uh, pushing through this losing Isaiah theme. So I built the wall up to protect me. But what good does that do for me? When the foundation is crumbling at my feet, I cannot fall down on my knees. God, you're gonna have to come visit me. Sit across the table with a belt, let me shoot dope with you Until you start to nod off, Jew I know you a prophet, see? See, I'm a street prophet You made my birth moms a street prophet I'm the product of such violence I acknowledge all the hate you put in my heartbeat Air out the drum Dramatic scene Put all the negativity in the box Cut for the final scene I always dreamed Of the energy I have when I look my killer in her eyes she didn't want me, and I'm supposed to believe that you love me? I know I'm supposed to push through. I got to start treating these females like forbidden fruit. They said don't let anger cage you, change you. Have faith in that good book. Them scriptures is supposed to guide you. Pick the best chapter that best suits you. Let God know that I shoot too. He can send a decipher while I sit through. They say God's tears is falling on top of you. But I ain't been feeling spiritual. It's ironic how I'm standing here looking up. Able, black men, we gotta be able to take care of our family too, W2. Don't let them streets claim you. Start playing in their lies and telling lies and you gotta open your eyes to realize your decision impact real lives. You ain't the only one doing that real times. You see, your son is starting to follow right behind. I just pray he learns how to tie a job tie. 
Not one for the pine box or that courtroom. While they reading him his time, two arms died. It was only right two times, so I'm standing here, figuring out how to cry. I gotta suck in my pride. I don't want my scar to be the reason why I die. Simba's alive, chasing behind your ghost, talking up to God. See, he was supposed to protect my mind. But who protected my mind? I just wanted to look at her eyes and call her my mind. Y'all told me in due time. But the reflection from the mirror done crossed that line. So we lowered her six feet. That's how you reduce time. The type of closure I manifest in my mind. So I let my tears cry, baby. small victories because they're taking cases to trial. Even though we know they're going to be found not guilty, I guess it's still hard for them to see. Filadino Castro mom said it the best. We next, but we must protect our breed. A lot of justice come from the mountain green. I'll be damned if I put any one of my children under the green. Everything we do, they swear is a scheme. So let me scheme. Matter of fact, let me put y'all on one of these schemes. They'll seize $18 million in drugs. Just to turn around and put it back on our streets for why greasy our needs. If you got green, I got the product. Just let me reach in between. This hard nigga eat. The only way to eat. The educational system is a joke. At the cut of bricks, put it in the bag just to learn math by the text and code. And the teachers wonder why a nigga smell bad. I used to wake up mad. Couldn't wait for somebody to zip me up in a glad bag, man. Daddy went his own path. Mama hit the snow bag to the day she had a toe tag. Hold that, cold facts. I used to watch the drug dealers with the block work. Staying on the block, handing out work. Do little things in between to make the block work. Too many bodies dropping around them so they leave the block to go to work. A different meaning of block work. But I had to make sure the nigga down the block ain't have the same work. And if he act up, his moms be laying them down in the back of a hearse. That's the mindset of a hood nigga. I look at my bank account and tell my brothers we boys in the hood. Nigga, I'm a menace to society. Gotta catch a body. Then I show the tape off like I'm low dog. Give me the full braids with the boxes like I'm low dog. I'm low dog, look dog. I look up the guard and ask them. Why you flip, dog? Oh, Lord. Someone take me from this madness. I gotta walk down the street strapped in. Just in case a nigga wanna play March Madness. Have it, all of it. I'm used to this. This is my environment. This ain't no play around. Look around for the playgrounds. They be swinging like it's a playground. They could get a plane round. Eat the bullet. That's what we call playing the ground. That's what you call the pin down. Put the pins down. They signing on things that keep us in the pins now. We're the peace now. Throw your two fingers up. That's what I call a peace out. Wow. See, Martin died over peace by the peace. And Malcolm died for being down with the peace over peace by the peace. Cops are still killing us at will. Knocking life on our bodies for real. Like we don't have a right to feel, a right to build, a right to peel. There's gray line areas behind these kills. Justice ain't made for us for real, baby. Beloved, we are gathered here today to pay our last respects for our fallen angel, R.I.P. the smooth baby. Now I know y'all looking at me crazy, cause y'all see me physically, but I died mentally and emotionally, trying to channel that inner ghost, the MJ in me. All skeleton and bone, no flex. With all this bleach, you see how I try to clean the crime scene? 
I come with trauma and drama. I'm TNT. Who's brave enough to save me? Come with all smoke. My room is free. My tears are like acid. It goes through the sheets in a sunken place. But not because of a white lady, so don't corny me. Cognac me. I love to sip Hennessy. It go down easy like my enemies. Why well, I'm trying to tame my energy while protecting my energy. I'd rather walk with my angels than live the life of sin. Y'all see my perspective hanging off the branch like an ornament. Get all four sides of me. Wrap me. My presence is under the tree. I keep Kunta spirit with me. Whip me on my back. Twelve years of slavery. You can see my death through that third eye. No Illuminati. No sacrifice. My soul is pure. My purpose talks to me. They say death comes in threes. So which two's going to take this shot with me? It's all on me. Death is free. But death ain't fun. When we at your view, and the church is singing for you, the preacher is preaching for you, your mama weep. She dropped down to her knees. She got to put her son in the dirt and hope he rose from the concrete. Why you think I wear my emotions on my sleeve? And I say I'm strong enough to never even pray for me. But who pray for me? When you can see the demise in my eyes and my tears wanna cry, but God won't allow me to cry. So I gotta look him in his eyes and ask him for more time with the butterfly, put it back into the cocoon. That's how you reverse time. Y'all say keep praying through difficult times. Even though it's landmines and my mind wanna call out for my mind, Lord, why? We at odds. I try not to argue with her since pops died over foul lines. Touch the line like a suicide. Trying to figure out how to make my corpse rise before my blood dry. I took my wings, I told God, time. And then I resurrect from the wreck. I rose in 3D the way I popped off the tee. My blood was spilled for all y'all ends. But this S on my chest sends now. Let's settle in. See, when y'all talk about me, make sure they get the right pick like a locksmith. The bronze skin, the dread twist, dread this. See, ghetto gospel always breathed in me. My brother was on my left side, teaching me about the streets. My angel was on my right side, teaching me about peace. Wait. You see how I control the room? All eyes on me. I got a lot of pocket in me. Mixed with the x men the dark in, bark in, locked in, blocked in, see. When y'all bow your heads, that's for the things I'm about to get. Having supper with my closest friends. Then they hear when the nail through my hand. You see how they crucified the prince? They ain't know I left behind the manuscript for y'all to follow in. When. when these niggas decompose, they leave no composition notes for the footprints. And wash away in the sand. I walk on top of the same water y'all bathe in. I've been through dark tunnels like a caveman. Save men, save them. They want to put me on the stick just to cross the word of loyalty. They act like they ain't know me. They ran on me. Death before dishonor. I'm the realest nigga that died for my team. They want to sanctify their sins. That's why they bow down to me. You see... They've been prophesied my death. They wanted me to prove exactly who I would be, the Messiah. Just didn't know that kiss would be the death of me. Y'all don't feel this aroma? The type of nigga to wake up from a coma? I gave birth to all you niggas. You see how I got a reset order? Quarter corner. When the ink touched this tongue, I rewrote a new world slaughter. Then I'm on ya. Check that piece on your chest, cause it breathe like a rosary. And before y'all spit y'all peace, thank God. Cause he a nigga just like me. Welcome to the menu. Baby, it's easy. I'm godly. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate everybody. Thank you so much, Smooth Baby. Um, boy, your, 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 your gift just shines, bro. Like, it shines through you. That passion, especially in the last one. Um, okay, okay. So I always take a moment, because I'm always just in my head after each <laughs> poet, because they're so good. I want to invite uh, Lucretia Berry up, Barry. Um, she is 
Another friend of mine that I've had the pleasure of knowing for the past few years, she is from Queens by way of Lexington, Kentucky, and she is the writer, producer, um, person behind her one-woman show called Tubman, and it is, she's performed it all over, guys. And also, both of the poets tonight have performed the various venues across the city, the country, and the world. So I just, I, I'm so overjoyed to welcome uh, Barry back to the stage. Um, so let's give a round of applause. Thanks. Hi, everybody. I am going to make sure we get our lives together here. Clap it up again for a smooth baby. I just want to make sure I am good to go up in here because we sharing this space up in this. I'm happy to be here. This is my second time here at Jagonia. And I want to thank uh, the band. Clap it up for the band. Yeah. I've worked with these gentlemen uh, a few times, actually. Um, and I also want to thank uh, National Jazz Museum in Harlem for having us again and for the technicians and all the sound folks and for them allowing us to be here to make us sound really great and awesome. And I am grateful because um, I keep getting hired to do poetry. So <laughs> this is like my second show uh, live since 2020. So um, I'm happy to be here. All right, y'all ready? So uh, during um, April, we write 30 poems for 30 days. And this poem, <clears throat> inspired by Rita Dove through Crystal Wilkinson, shout out to Afrolatchian poets. This is called My Mother's Kitchen. walked in with the best speckled kidney shaped salty sauce carriers ready for Friday night. She asked, why was there always a tomato on the window sill, a bottle of pills with his name on it? Mama said daddy was sick and days at the end of the week were reserved for Pinto beans, cornbread, and white rice might have to steal the recipe, she said. But mama said everything would be dead, including her, if the spirit of thieves decided to visit that Whispering Hills kitchen. See, mama preferred gas ovens, but renting a meager townhouse on the south side gave her electric, hard to gauge temperature with invisible heat. See, my friend never had cast ironed, oil kissed, dusk crusted, savory bits with sweet undertones ever crossed her corn milled lips. But she would never, but she would discover nirvana in the middle of my mama's kitchen. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So as you know, um, we were in the middle. We've always been in kind of civil unrest, but last summer was like the height of all of that, and things are still happening, so we never want to lose sight of the work that we do and why we're here. And um, I, I try to find joy in the middle of all of it, um, and uh, ways that I have joy is eating cake. <laughs> so uh, this is called Lemon Cake Blues. Have you ever craved a lemon cake? Like the thought pops up, like event DMs and men too afraid to speak in real life, living in your spam and it just won't stop until you make it, but like from scratch. So you walk 
to the store because you have to move. It's a pandemic, boo. The grocery store is like the club now. You do your eyebrows and wear mascara for lemons. And freshly squeezed cashew milk, wearing lip gloss only to the freezer section. To notice, the locals will tell you without solicitation that you've lost weight, that they could tell in your face. But they don't know you've been stuffing your safe space with lemon cake because it's your favorite and you're sad that it won't bring her back. Upset that baking can't resuscitate 26-year-old black girls from Kentucky, but guilty that it's saving you. You walk down the aisles like marriage is in your near future because the guy in produce thinks you're cuter and cuter every time you buy a banana. Obsessed with finding the right recipe, scrambling to discover flowers that might bring justice to your creation, that flowers might be able to redo that night in spring, hoping the cake you make will save you from dying before 30, will save you from your name being worn on masks at tennis matches, at basketball games, at baseball games. I don't feel like lemon cake. Warm enough to melt the icing, but cool enough to keep it together. You try to keep it together. You try to keep it together. You try to keep it together. So you ride your bike to sift and shift and shit. That thing is good. But you're still sad because your body is alive and trying to thrive when she didn't survive. And the workers at Met don't see that. They see your dog. And definitely you, but definitely your groceries. Like you just didn't cry for her, for them. Ah, summer. Like you just didn't cry for her, for them all summer. Thank you. So uh, I don't know if y'all are down with all the apps, but you know, on Instagram, they're saying, ooh, find you a therapy, find you safe space. I know Smooth Baby was talking about a safe space. Is this a safe space? Um, so sometimes you just gotta talk to yourself in the mirror and be like, I believe in you, girl. So this is um, how to believe in yourself even when you don't know how. Practice the national anthem at nine years old. Make sure your voice trembles and your hands shake like that church lady fan. Smile even though you almost peed in your pants. Be the fifth grade girl with the thick quads who outruns every skinny girl in the class. Be certain they will eat your cemented dust, if that's such a thing. Be the volunteer to read all the sixth grade read alouds with sass and sauce because you know how to read the dynamic book of Deuteronomy. Since the age of five, spell it publicly too with all the emphasis and all the Old Testament drama. Be precocious and nosy and skeptical. Get slapped a couple times because the only person getting the last word would be you. You got things to say, boo. You just do. Wear the cut off shirt and the tight pants and the afro. They'll still call you a hoe with a church dress on, so you might as well do what you please. Go to college, see the world, leave your parents' house, thank me later, tears and all, no resentment, just pride. Move away, far away, resist the urge to go back. I mean, how will you believe in yourself if you do what everybody else has done and wants? 
Y'all doing? Y'all feeling good? Yeah. The band is awesome, aren't they? Yeah. All right. The band is awesome. Isn't? Oh, I don't know. The band is awesome. Okay. I was trying to make it like English. Are they? Is it? Okay. Anyway, the point is, on to the next poem. Um, I dedicate this poem to all those we've lost to COVID and those we've lost this year. Uh, we love you. Um, this is uh, a space to embrace all the ones who have gone. And um, this is called Dear Raina. Raina Jo Mungin. As too many black women before her was not believed. Her pain was not taken into consideration. Her knowledge of her own body was not prioritized. She suffered and ultimately died needlessly because we live in a nation structured for our deaths. Kristen West Savali for Essence. Dear Reina, gorgeous brown cherub, a server of the people, Beloved and not believed, not seen, you are me, we are queens. I swear talking about invisibility is a real thing. Hard to see when black bodies die, needlessly. They'll say it's not as bad as you think. Gaslight you over your own corpse, your murder alibi stinks. No matter how many documentaries, no matter how many judges anguish over their daughters passing during pregnancy, telling doctors to relieve their symptoms, we die. And that's why this staying in the house is liberty for me because once I leave it, who will fight for me, believe me, love me? 
I have nightmares that I'll pass without anyone to see except my dog, Minty. And she'll lament over my body because she recognizes my pain daily. Dogs over doctors, sadly. I'm a positivity baby. Swaddled with vibrancy with the effervescence of 18, but I dispute your theories and the 5G. How many hearts have to bleed before you stop sending me DMs on conspiracy? Too many losses to ever hold my attention. Please, please, please block me. When fingers and toes aren't even cold on the souls of black folk, Raina was like me. Teaching, reaching, beseeching them to see the world, but where are they we really save? I'm tired of mediocrity and praising monolithic identities who create lesson plans that infect them, not affect them, scratching their heads like dogs with rabies. But what does this have to do with me ever, 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 ever? I'd say let's fight this together. I'd say we can conquer all types of weather, but you don't receive the forecast when we tell you it's raining all over our people. How will we ever gain equity, solidarity, unity? So excuse me if I focus on teenage poetry, that's the only thing keeping me from slapping the taste out of your apathetic mouths. Proud to have black friends, but how will we ever win? If you and yours don't speak up, friend, tell me, I'm waiting. Rest in peace, Raina Zoe Mungin. I will always believe you. All right, last one. Um, <laughs> when I heard this song, and then I had a po another poem that was like an epic poem, okay? My poems be really, really long, okay? They be long. Okay, uh, three minutes and up. But um, then I heard, I, I re-listened to this song. I was like, you know, we're gonna change it. We're gonna, we're gonna end on a happy note. We're gonna end on a high energy. And so that's what we're going to uh, finish out the night with. This is called 10 Things Black People Are Ready to Hear. Yeah. Do 
you that you don't do water or outdoors. It's who you are. Ancestral bars and waterfalls. Come on, y'all. Six, seven, seven. You are enough. I said again, you are enough. Your hair, your gender, your sexuality, your eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Find uh, me on um, all the all the interwebs um, as Barry and Co. B e r r y a n d c o. Um, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all of those things. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Bye. Barry, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm just still smiling. Again, from that last week, y'all always leave me speechless. But guys, I want to thank you so much for coming out to another session of Jazz Union where we um, covered the music from John Coltrane and Lovey Austin. I want to again thank uh, the band. And I, I don't think I was speaking up. My mom at home told me you couldn't hear. So I want to reintroduce the band. Um, we have Chez on keys or the piano. And we have Kenji on bass. We have Alex on drums. And we have Gypsy on guitar. So I just want to give a round of applause for the band. <laughs> Um, so again, thank you guys so much for joining us, and thank you to the museum, to Ryan, Fela, and Martin for having us and helping us uh, to present this to you all today. Thank you for the audience uh, here, and then those of you watching on live stream, uh, I, we just appreciate you. And the next Jazzonia session will be on December 9th at 7 p.m. So we hope to see you guys back, and just thanks again for coming out this evening. Um, enjoy your night. Thanks. Yeah.